Good morning, I'm Rena Ninen. And I'm TJ Holmes with the top stories on this Friday, March 6th. We begin with the dramatic plane crash involving Harrison Ford. He was at the controls of a vintage aircraft when it slammed into a California golf course. The 72-year-old actor reported engine trouble shortly after takeoff from the Santa Monica airport. One of Ford's sons tweeting, quote, Dad is battered, but okay. Also calling his father an incredibly strong man. Six train cars carrying oil that derailed and burst into flames in northern Illinois are being allowed to burn themselves out. No one was injured in the accident. 150 miles west of Chicago, it could have been a lot worse. The train had more than 100 cars carrying oil. It's the second derailment of a train carrying oil in two months. A driver versus cyclist confrontation in South Florida was caught on camera. A guy in a pickup truck cuts off guy that was on the bike causing him to go down when the cyclist comes around the truck the driver gets out and delivers a beating the biker's friend took down the guy's license plate they told West Palm Beach police that driver's license that plate and the driver is now facing battery charges and fans of big roller coasters will be flocking to Charlotte North Carolina in the coming weeks to ride what's called fury 325 it climbs straight into the sky to a peak height of 325 feet then plunges down at a speed of 95 miles an hour the Carowinds Amusement Park is billing it as the world's tallest, fastest, and longest roller coaster. The park, of course, Fury 325. Opens in three weeks. I would not go near that. Oh, we got to plan a vacation. Get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Rena Ninen. And I'm TJ Holmes. Thank you so much, as always, for watching.